All righty, so we are going to put up a uh, combo unit this time. This is a exit light with an emergency light built into it. So uh, this is a uh, 120 or 277 volt. It has attachments for ceiling mount. So as you can see, this says 120 and 277 volts. So the electronics switches the voltage so you don't have to cap off the one wire you're not going to be using. Okay, so the lights just snap in on the sides here. They twist in like that, you just pop them over like that. Same with this one. Snap it in like that. Now this wire here plugs into a little plug down here. And we will punch the box to go up like this. Or, no, it's going to go up like this, or this side here. So we're going to open this one and this one. Okay, we'll break it around. Breaking out our first one here. Okay, so these little barbs in here, these will snap in on the inside of the box. So you can hear them all snapped in there.
trip with the 14 hole. We'll get it on our green screw back in here in the back of the box. Close it the direction that the screw turns. And we'll fold our ground wire right back in the back of the box so it's out of the way of everything. And these are power wires. So we're going to bring our black power wire in. We have these buttons facing down. black and white wire here. We'll strip them the same length as the wires that are on the unit here. So we'll hook our wires up. Well, just these are pre tinned wires, so I strip them at the same length. So we just line them up even like that, put our wire cap on, tighten it up, make sure the insulation is going up into the wire nut, take the red. Pull this off because it might just be in my way and I can't move it. Okay, get them even here. Put the cap on. Okay, so I just fold these wires back like this. These wires back. I'll fold them up, get them back out of the way of everything here. Get the uh, wires for the light. Closed in out of the way here so they're not pinched. Same with the ones on this side. Run them down. Get them out of the way so they're not pinched. And uh, you can choose red or green. You can pop this off and change it. And we're going to open the arrow because this one's pointing towards the exit. So we will open this one up. And just simply sets up on this here. 
snaps in like that. screws Okay, so here is our box with all our wires on it, and you can see they put two wires on each screw, and that is not according to code there. So we're going to see where this wire is going to go. So we're going to go. We'll come in on this side over here. So we'll uh, pop this knockout out. Wow, look, it is missing the connector. What a bummer. That is a bummer. But you know what? We're not going to frustrate. Fortunately, I have one. So you put your uh, anti-short bushing in the MC cable here. Put it through your connector here. And another little joy, these screws are going to be a little short, so uh, we'll just have to uh, fight with it and deal with it. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And you know what? We will just put it together and it will be the way it is because that's how it is. You can't win everything.
And that is the truth. You cannot win everything. And it has, if it has to be, it's going to be. And you know what? That's what it is. I got to rip this little piece off. Okay, I don't care. Don't care about things too much. Just do what you got to do. And I just put it together with one screw for now. And I'll worry about it later when I get a screw. There it is, it's in. I'll just tighten it up with one screw for now. Because that's all I have. The other one is too short and I'm not frustrating. And I will just buy another screw and put it in later. All the Jesus Christs and God damn it will not change anything. It will not help you at all. It will not change anything. So if something is not going right, just keep on going. Don't let problems slow you down. Oh, you know what? This screw, I think I need it in here a lot. And you know what? I don't care. I'm putting it together the best I can with what I have, and I will just put that other screw in there later. Because you don't want to ruin your life over a lousy screw. That's the worst thing you can do is ruin your life over something that's material. Material things don't mean anything. But I will get a screw and put it in there later.
Get the insulation down here at the bottom so it's even. Cut them so they're all even. One, two, three, four, they're all even on the bottom. And I'll put them, I put them a little shorter. Now they're all even on the bottom. Insulation even at the top. even here. I'll look and make sure I see all four of them on the bottom. And one, two, three, four.
boy, I just had my lucky day. I found a screw that will fit in this connector here. I can loosen this one up. so it's tight. Oh, let it lay. I couldn't care less. Leave it lay. Don't frustrate me. Okay, welcome back. Those up to the light fixture. our loops the direction that the screw turns. And that was my flathead screwdriver, so I'll go down and get it. So we will put the uh, black on the brass screw. Close the loop the direction of the screw turns. Put the white wire and the silver screw the direction that the screw turns. Close the loop. This loop a little better because I didn't quite get it that good the first time. And we'll have to put the new screws on this.
Alrighty, so that is how to wire a dual voltage two wire emergency exit light to 120 volts or to 277 volts. Here in the country I was born in, emergency and exit lights are required in hallways of commercial buildings. Peace. Thanks for watching.